brethren i welcome you once again this is bible facts existence and today again i thank god who has given us the privilege again to read his word and this is kasani today i welcome you for those who have just joined this family and we always have the teachings from the holy book the bible and again today we are going to read from the book of mark chapter 10 verse 56 to verse 52 and again i welcome you for those who have just joined and if you have a question please you can go in the description box uh, there is a contact or you can talk through us from the comment section below and also i want to welcome those who and thank you guys for those who always share these teachings and you share it with your brothers and your sister wherever you are and i pray for the blessings of god may be with you while you are sharing the good news the gospel of jesus christ kindly pray with me before we begin heavenly father we thank you again and this is the time to study thy word may you be with us as we go through your teachings you taught us this holy book that should teach us everything you need it is a time the holy spirit to touch our mind and our understanding in jesus name we pray amen welcome for those who have just joined and always encourage you please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any lesson uh, jump with me for those who have your bible and go in the book of mark chapter 10 verse 46 to verse 52 we shall go slow so this is the story of a man i know you've ever heard about this story so many times but uh, as i told you there is how god calls everyone or there is a way how god speaks to everyone and there is a way how god makes you understand his teachings because these teachings is for our own good so today i want you to join me i take you through this story so this story is a man who was born blind and he was staying in the city of jericho so this man his name was called but the son of timaeus was alongside the road he was a beggar so but myas was blind from his childhood so in that time jesus was leaving the city of jericho he has been there so there was a lot of chaos so but myas asked his friends those who were near him and he asked what is going on i hear a lot of chaos so the man who seemed not to make sense like he always used to bad myers questions because he always asked and he don't do anything about the the things he asked so this was even the same thing but myers he asked the same man or his friends because they knew him he told him what is going on i hear a lot of chaos though the man was like but myers you know you always ask things and you don't do anything about it anyway it is jesus of nazareth who is leaving the city so but myers when they told him that he started shouting son of david have mercy on me son of david have mercy on me so people around but myers they started telling him to shut up because these people but myers where he was begging from they were people of phd in those days who had master in those days who had degrees in those days the educated ones so but myers he was has no value in their class of life so they started telling him to keep quiet because but myers he was a good guy before because he was not someone who could make noise so these people he was like shaming them someone is shouting son of david have mass on me 
on their side could not make sense. Remember the tragedy of being blind. It is someone you could not wish for because God created this world has a lot of things to look at. Even the sun itself, the things they are very, very good to look at. When someone goes blind, it's really, it's really a tragedy. So, and even someone, remember when you are blind, you have a lot of people you would wish to look at, like your parents, maybe your brothers, and even other people. You may have a good friend and you would wish to look at their faces. And even to look around the skies, you hear things but you don't see them. So it is really, really bad. But in that time, but Myers, the Bible says, the more they told him to shut up, but Myers shouted the more. So when he shouted the more, Jesus had his voice calling him. Jesus stopped. And the disciples started pushing him, let us go, we have a tight schedule because we need to reach there in time. There are other people there waiting for us. Remember Jesus was going city by city telling them about the, the kingdom of God. So Jesus, when he heard the man calling his name, he said, wait, there is someone is calling on my name. When Jesus hears us calling his name, he pays attention. Some of us, we even fear to go on our knees and pray for forgiveness for the wrong things we've done during the day because we feel we are not worthy to go in the mass of throne to ask for forgiveness. But the Bible tells us when Jesus had this man, because remember the city was big and one man was calling his name, Jesus had his voice and he stopped and told them, this is my son calling me. The Bible says Jesus told his disciples, go and bring him to me. So the Bible says when they reached on Bat Myers, they told him, cheer up. But Myers, he had, you know, beggars, how they are. Sometimes they don't smell good, you know. These people, like, they always maybe have some insects on them. You can mention some of them. So this man, he stood on his feet, he thrown his jacket off. I want you to notice this. When in life you are after something, make sure you don't have anything which is going to delay you when you are going to meet your Savior. But Myers threw everything he had on his body. The jacket, I don't know he had how many, but the Bible says he took off everything he had and he stood up and he was very happy so they took him to jesus and they said jesus asked him what can i do for you if you are the one god asks you that question what can you do i remember in the bible in the book of kings somewhere second samuel when God asked King Solomon what you want, Solomon asked for wisdom to rule God's people, and God added him. So, <clears throat> so but Myers, when Jesus was there, he asked him, What do you want? But Myers, the Bible says, replied, Rabbi, I want to see. You know, there are so many people have eyes, but they don't see. Don't, don't see people looking at you and you think they are seeing. Because the Bible says they have eyes, they don't see. They have ears, they don't hear. They have brain, but they don't perceive. It is a tragedy 
to be blind physically and spiritually. For I pray that you don't be on that stage. Because God wants us to know things or to have life in abundantly because he gave us life. He came and died for us. This teaching of Batmayas comes in our life today, me and you who are living in the last days of the world, whereby there are things happen in our lives and we start blaming God. The Bible says people shouted at Batmayas, but Batmayas shouted the more. There is a time in your life where you need to shout the more. Because the devil or the evil spirit, they will try to block you like these people tried to block but Maya is telling him to shut up because he's making noise. But Maya has told them, I've been here with you guys and I've been blind and you've never done anything about it. The only man on planet Earth is leaving the city and you're telling me to keep quiet? How many times have you fought to make sure you reach your Savior, you reach where your God is? What have you done to penetrate or to go every circumstance to reach where God is? <clears throat> what have you done today to make sure you have a good relationship with God? What have you done to read God's word? There are things in this world now which are taking your attention, the things that take your time, God's word, or you don't have the time for your God. But the Bible says God's word is meant to do two things in people's life, to afflict the comfortable, and it will comfort the afflicted one. We are busy working, thinking about ourselves. We don't give time to God because we see everything, everything is in our favor and we don't need God. You have money, you're driving, you have a nice job. But when you went to do that interview job of the job you're having, you prayed. And God made sure you get that job. You know these interviews I've ever been in Dubai. We all like we go like 400 people. <clears throat> Yet they want only four people. I wonder why these interview people they don't just say come like 20 or 4 or 10 because we need four people from you guys. They call like 400 500 and they only take two. But in that interview, God made sure that your name has to come on those four. But after getting the, the job, you start forgetting. You start going on church late. You don't read your Bible. You don't do things you've been doing before. You didn't have a job. Now you are very busy to give your God time. If your mind is like that and you are thinking like that, Sooner than later, things they may not be easy for you. Because you are too comfortable. Everything is in your favor. May God have mercy on you and me if we don't make an effort to do God's work and to reach in His time. The Bible says, or oh, this lesson teaches us, there are people who will try to block us to reach our God where he is. Are you going to be like Batmayas, the blind man? This man was not seeing, but he used his voice and he shouted the more. And his Savior heard him. The Bible gives us a lot of people who made their effort and reached the Savior and God heard them. I want you to have faith and believe in God because He started a good work 
on you and you will complete it. Have faith. God does not care what you do, because the heavens always rejoice when they hear, when we are calling God's name for help. Because God is always there to reach his people who call for help. All the promises in the Bible, God tell, tells us not to fear. God tells us not to be worried because he with us. But Myers, when he reached there and told the Savior, I want to see. The Bible says that Myers, he received his sight instantly and he followed Christ. Many Christ has delivered us from so many troubles because me, I know man and you know your troubles, where God has brought you from. But after coming from that side, we forget what God has done for us. We don't always pay God how, how he does for us. We always pay him in a different way. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that may this teaching or this scripture change your life today and always make effort to reach your Savior. Do your best to present yourself as a workman of God. Not to do things that in front of people they may see you but who are proved by God alone. Because times and the times are coming, we had some teachings in the book of Revelation. Hard times are coming. Are you going to stand for your God? Because there are times where it will need you to stand for your God. Because those times, the end times are coming, the tribulation. They will be persecuting for those who believe in God. Are you going to stand? I'll give you an example from the book of Daniel when they told Daniel to worship the image and they told King Nebuchadnezzar even if our God won't, won't, won't be able to save us we will not worship the image. Are you going to be like those Daniel, Mesach, Abednego and Shadrach? Because God gave us those scriptures so that we they can be example for us who live today. If God is in heaven and he looks on earth, can he say, there is my servant, my maid servant, who can stand for me, like in times he said to Job? Some of us, we are too busy, we can't even do that. So may you, I pray that God may see you, may God hear your prayers, and he always make your best. To reach is God. Always read your Bible. Always pray for things you can do. Do them. And God is faithful. He will provide His He will provide you everything you need to do the good work. So my prayer today is change your life when you are seeking God. And today this is our teachings. I want to pray for the blessings of God to be with you and always remember to pray. May God bless you, brethren, and I always am Kasani. This is Bible Facts Existence. Make sure you share this link. Make sure you subscribe and you share these teachings. In Jesus' name, we pray. Dear Father, we thank you for today. You have taught us always to fight to see your face in prayer reading your word may the spirit help us to reach you god be with us today in jesus name i pray amen